Hey guys, this is Walid from Devil VFX. Welcome back with the part 2 from Green Screen 3D tutorial. Today I will show you how to use Sentize to match your camera movement. Why Sentize? Because it's very professional, used in a lot of Hollywood movies, really fast and working with any PC. So, what is the meaning of match mover? In the 3D software, there is a 3D camera. Sentize is matching the real camera movements with the 3D camera by tracking the static surfaces in the scene. So, let's start. Go to File, Open, and choose your JPEG sequence, and press OK. Just choose the first one, OK, and press OK. Try to match the uh, after effects settings, okay, like 30 frames per second. Now, to match move, there's two ways the auto one, and it's really easy, and the manual, and it's not that easy, okay. And I will show you both of them. First, auto tracking to use auto tracking, you will need to rotate out any moving object from the scene, and with any moving object, I mean like water and reflective things like mirrors. To roto out any object, go to roto panel, choose the roto tool that you want, and draw a shape around your object. And to end it, just right click. And you can use this slider to animate the shape. And it's like auto animate, okay? It's like auto key. Okay. So this is really easy, very simple. Make sure it's garbage, okay? You can choose garbage or anything, but make sure it's garbage, okay? Then, now you are ready to make a auto key. Just press auto. It's really fast comparing to another software. Okay, let's press OK. Okay, now we'll go to the perspective view by pressing F3. Or you can choose it from here, okay? Perspective. Okay, if you can see the background, just right click and check lock to current camera, okay? And now blade. As you can see, the grid is not aligned with the floor, okay, and it's really shaky, so let's fix it. Now, we need to set up the floor, okay, so we'll go to coordinate system panel, okay, and we will press on this to define the floor, okay, and we can go back to the uh, to camera view, okay. And choose in three trackers on the floor. Mm -mm -mm. And press yes. And now, if we go back to the perspective view by pressing F3, it's aligned, okay? But it's still shaky. To play it with the spacebar or lay from here, and the floor is aligned with the grid. But it's still shaky, okay? So let's fix that too. Go to track, clean up trackers, and choose the trackers. Just press select, select, select. By selecting this, you, you are selecting like the bad trackers, okay? And fix it. Software will delete it, okay? Now, let's go to solve panel and solve again. Solve is like, uh, 
make another tracking with the new trackers yeah, like after removing your trackers and blade okay still shaky but it's better okay so let's go to track fine tune tracker and make it golden make golden and run and you can choose fine tune dragon no no during or to try no just run okay let's play it again As you can see, it's really shaky, and there is nothing I can do with it. Okay, because this this video is very bad. I tried with another video, and it was perfect. In video like that, we will use the manual tracking. Okay, because auto tracking we tried and it's not working. Okay, so let's go to the other way, manual tracking. okay with a difficult footage like this one you will need to make a manual tracking okay to make a manual tracking you will need to reopen your file again okay file open don't save okay and reopen it okay let's search frames per second okay in, ma in manual tracking we don't have to make any rotor okay first go to tracking panel select your tracking tool and click on the marker resize it okay there is a good tip for manual tracking go to track and select uh, bureau by Kismus and stop on auto key stop on auto key means like auto stop every like 10 frames 20 frames whatever you like right here okay you can write like five frames and play so five frames and play Okay, as you can see, it will out stop every like five frames. You can like go back and make it like ten frames. And if you have like a good uh, image or good footage, you can make it like twenty or more. Okay, so we'll choose ten and let's test it. Every ten frames, it was auto stop. Okay, okay. Kismos mean sometimes will fix the previous frames automatic. Okay, that means you don't have to fix it frame by frame. Now we'll make the Kismos five. That means sometimes will fix the previous five frames. Okay, and make it like more smoother. Okay, and let's start. Okay. Okay, that's it okay we'll lock it now this tracker is ready okay we'll make another one not you need eight trackers uh, like per frame okay so let's make more trackers
Okay, after you finish, you will need to go to source balance and go. Press OK. Now let's make a test. Go to perspective view and play. As you can see, it's not shaky, it's really good, okay? But we need to align the grid to the floor, okay? Go to coordinate system, coordinate panel, and you can go to like uh, camera and choose any, select this and choose any three trackers on the floor, okay? Now, okay, perspective view F3. And as you can see, now it's aligned floor with the grid and play. As you can see, this is awesome. Okay, this is very really good. This is a, a very good track. Okay, and it's easy, it's not taking a lot of time, it's just 10 minutes. Okay, we can add a 3D object. Okay, by going to 3D panel. You can choose like a box, you go to like uh, Quad Preview F4 and choose a box or anything, we'll, we'll go with box, okay? Select the tool and make a box. You can move it with this tool, smooth tool, okay? F3 for perspective and play. As you can see, it's very good, okay? Now, we need to export. Okay, first, we need the object. And go to File, or Edit, Edit first, and Edit Preferences. I will export it to 3D Studio Max, so I will choose Max. If you are working with like Cinema 4D, you can choose Lightwave, but I will choose Max. You can set up your units like a centimeters. Uh, uh, um. Okay, Max script version six or later, and now we are ready. Okay, just okay. File, export. Uh, 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 uh. Max script version 6 later. Save it. Okay, like, uh, okay, save. Version 6, uh, that's it, okay. Now we're done. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in part 3. Goodbye.